welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore Operating Theatre Etiquette What to Expect During Your Surgery. Operation Theatre is where hospital miracles happen. And our team includes surgeons, anesthetists, scrub nurses, circulation nurses, helping surgeons, art technicians, and paramedical professionals. If you've completed an Operation Theatre Technician course and are ready to join the team, you must grasp and follow Operation Room Etiquette. A fresher will feel anxious and nervous while entering the Operation Room for the first time, but remember your training and work with your team. First-time theatergoers often feel uneasy. It can be intimidating when you don't know what's going on or what to do to contribute to the team. Before entering the operation theater, eat and pee. Some surgeries are lengthy. Turn off or silence phones. Jewelry off. Before surgery, review the patient's medical records. Before entering the operation room, don a scrub, theater shoes, cap, and mask. Also, display your id. Meet the operation theater supervisor main surgeon, anesthetist, and others present. They're your current mentors. Verify patient's identity before transferring to operation room. Before patient transfer, double-check the procedure consent. Before moving a patient, make sure dentures are removed. Before patient shift, mark surgical side and site. Diverse hospitals and surgical departments have different theater layouts but share components. The scrub area has sinks, sterile gowns, gloves, masks slash visors, and other equipment. You'll find a rainbow of scrubs in the changing room. Green is for general clothing in theater, dark blue for theater sisters, light blue for outside theater, Orange for healthcare assistants, pink for obstetrics and gynecology, and gray for a two doctor. Operating room has operating table, theater lighting, anesthetic equipment, and scrub nurse table. Anesthetic chamber where general or regional anesthesia is delivered. Storage areas contain sterile supplies for the surgery. Once the operation begins, many theatres have a specific entrance. If the theatrical door says do not enter, avoid it and find another way in. Most hospitals recommend double gloving for surgical operations to prevent needle stick injuries and bloodborne virus transmission. You can wear two pairs of standard gloves or indicator gloves with a green or blue underglove and a white top glove to notice torn or pierced gloves. Even during routine operations, many staff members are present to ensure a successful surgery and patient safety. Staff, visitors, and students can be found in the operating room. Sign in before the patient is placed to sleep in the anesthetic chamber. The anesthetist verifies the patient's identify, procedure, allergies, airway issues, and equipment. Before the procedure begins, the team verifies the patient's identity, checks consent documents, and discusses bleeding risk, antibiotic needed, and VTE prophylaxis. Before the patient departs the operating room, the nursing staff verifies all instrument counts, specimen labels, and post-operative recovery difficulties. Anesthetists are responsible for anesthesia induction and perioperative monitoring. Scrub nurses can be qualified nurses who subspecialize or operating department practitioners, ODPS. Work directly with the surgeon in the sterile field, handling surgical equipment as needed. 
surgeon performs the surgery, alone or with help. Trained healthcare workers help the operating team as part of the scrub or circulating team and with the anesthetist. Qualified nurses who follow patients after surgery until they are stable enough to return to the ward. Many hospitals utilize different colored scrub hats for old recognition, and there should be wall guides for which one to wear. This allows for speedy rolled recognition in the operation room. After the surgery, they scrub. Turn your gown inside out and roll it into a ball before placing it in the green laundry bin or orange clinical waste bin, for disposable gowns. Next, examine your gloves for holes, remove them by turning them inside out, and drop them in the orange clinical waste container. Bloodstains or wounds could suggest a ripped glove or needle stick injury. Finally, throw away your mask. Then wash your hands for a minute, which is vital for infection prevention and refreshing if you've been wearing hot, sweaty scrubs. Before entering the theater department, put on scrubs, shoes, and a scrub cap. Arrive early and introduce yourself to the surgical team, especially the charge nurse. Ask permission to shadow or scrub in. Write your name on the board and attendance list, if present. Before surgery, it's wise to review the patient's medical history, diagnosis, and treatment. During the procedure, you may be asked questions. You'll benefit more if you know why it's being done. If you haven't prepared, many surgeons won't train you. Ask a theater nurse to show you how to scrub if they have time. Show respect and keenness throughout surgery. Enjoy yourselves. An operation room tech prepares the operating room and assists the surgeon during surgery. They set up the instrument carts, table, and patient. They also autoclave and prepare sterile supplies for the operating room. Join Sri Ram Medical College's Bachelor of Vocation in Operation Theatre Technology and take the first step toward a successful career in Operation Theatre Technologist. We are here to assist you in launching your career as an Operation Theatre Technologist. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away. Sri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance. Admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sriram Medical College. Good luck, goodbye.